Hi everybody, welcome to the Fragrance Lair. And today will be numbers 14 through 10 of my top 25 favorite fragrances. So, let's get on to number 14. Number 14. Guess Suede. Now, this is the bottle. This kind of looks like a, a puzzle piece. It's right there. But the rest is... Alright, the bottle is not what's on the list for. It's what it's sent. Now, pineapple and suede. That's what I get. Kind of very nice, different. I don't have anything in my brain which it really smells like this, but it's not about uniqueness, it's about how good it smells. So, ah. this was um, how did I get this? Oh, yeah, my uncle gave it to me. He gave me like four or five fragrances he didn't like. I mean, no, he didn't even open them. He was like, nah, I'll take them, I don't use them. So, I'm like, all right, give me, give me, give me. This is one of them. I have another one because this is running out, and I like it that much. It's cheap, so I can get more. So, pineapple suede, um. A little citrus from the um, original guess, but it's not. It's, it's kind of like laying in the background. Projection of longevity, beast. Like it projects really good at first, and kind of quiets down. The longevity is there. I get six to eight hours on it, but give or take depends on the weather and how much I'm sweating. Woo! I'm sweating, but not today, boys. It's cold out. So yeah, get on, rat. So that's number fourteen. Guess suede. Guess what? You're going over here. Bye. Okay. Yeah, I'm an asshole. Alright, now it's time for number 13. Yeah. Will be Diesel Zero Plus Masculine. And that's going on. Whatever you want to say. Now, this one. Spice, 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 spice. That's all. That's all I get. Spice. That's it. Kind of like, you got a lot of the, um, Middle Eastern spice, cinnamon, clover, just. It's very, it's, 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 um, very spicy. At first, with the first scent, it was kind of very mature and didn't have, it kind of didn't have that spice. It was very old smelling looking, looking, smelling. And then once it kind of dried down, very warming, very, mm, very good. The cinnamon in there is beast. Perfect. You get a little more clove. The clove is a little more of a, um, condensed version of cinnamon. A little more spicy, a little bit more in your face than cinnamon would be. But still, cold and cinnamon are all in the same ballpark to me. So, yeah. Diesel. Zero plus masculine. Good. Cheap. Cheapy. I think, and yeah, I think this might, might be the. No, something else cheaper in this collection, but it's really good. But you're going to see that one later. Alright. That's number 13. Zero plus masculine. Number 12. Number 12 is po another popular one. The only other one in my fragrance collection besides 1 million. This is Black Excess. Author bond. Strawberry, strawberries. On first blast, it's very, it's like a fresh, cooling strawberry. But once it dries down, it becomes a little bit more of a, of a warm, like a warm topping strawberry that you would put on your um pancakes. Spices in here. There's a lot of, there's a little cinnamon, not too much where it would really, the average nose could pick it out. I could barely pick it out, but once I really Smell it. There's a slight hit of cinnamon in there, so it's fruity with some cinnamon in there. I get strawberry, but I don't think that's I don't think that's what's in it. But I get strawberry. That's just me. So yeah, that is number twelve on my list. Aqua Bon Excess Pop. Yeah, I like it. That's not my favorite. Lighter. Oh well. Bottle design is pretty cool. So. Let's move on over to a cheapy, another cheapy actually. Um, Valium Sport gets compared to um, Chanel Lone Sport actually. I don't think I smelt it, but if the comparisons are right, then I'm happy to have this. Cause it's cheap. It's good. It has kind of like a um, a um, I'm actually want, I'm gonna spray this one. I'm smoking it in a while. Let's spray. Check out the spray all over here. Wow, pitiful. But kind of has it's. Lemony, lemon, kind of like lemon. You get some, some citrus in there, but more lemon. A little vanilla to give it like that kind of a um, edible lemon, not like an herbal lemon. If that makes sense. Mm. Definitely more of a warmer weather fragrance. I love wearing this in the summer. Just right. I mean, you could get away with it in the fall, but kind of die out on you. It's cold, but yeah. Italian sport. Cheap, 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 but it's very good. Don't let the price fool you. Now, number 10. 
Aren't you excited? I am. <laughs> is by Jesus de Polo, Halloween. Amen. Amen. Just be quiet. One million's better looking brother. The better looking brother that no one really knows about unless you tell them who they are. You got, you got cinnamon, but the one thing I like about it is it's, it has apple. The apple martini. That's great. It kind of balances out the spicy and gives a little bit more difference to it that sets it aside. But don't get me wrong. It's both one, one million is both great fragrances, but I like this a little bit more. It's a little bit more different and a little and a little more mysterious. Like you smell the cinnamon and then you smell it again, and you're like apple. That's sick. Apple, yes indeed. Begs indeed. It's not like straight up apple. It's like an apple martini, so it's also a little bit more booze to this than just apple. So apple, spice, warm, delicious. I bought this blind buy because I read the ingredients. Like okay, got to have it. I saw that I like. So, I liked it. That was number 10, folks. Now, have a great day or night, wherever you are. I'm not time zone prejudiced. So, tune in next week for another installment of my top 25 fragrances of all time. Bye, everybody. Keep smelling good. Have a good day or night. Bye.